Hello, everyone. Scott, I'm welcome to you live from Honolulu, Oahu. It is February 28, 2016, 603 in the afternoon, talking about how to be more creative. Now, this process, right, this is one of the processes that I like to do, and that's totally to screw up something. So I'll take something and I'll take it apart and I'll figure out how do I break it and then how do I rebuild it. And so sometimes through having to rebuild something, this kind of like goes along the lines of playing with Legos or Connects or, or Lincoln Logs, but taking something apart and having to rebuild it is one way to, to go and figure out how to be more creative. Sometimes if you have the entire process down, it's taking a new approach. Sometimes people will tell you like, if you drive to work the same way every day, drive differently. Sometimes people will say, if you shave with your right hand, shave with your left hand. But figure out a different approach to something, to something that you're gonna do allows you to be creative in, in other areas. And a lot of times when you're doing something different, unusual, your brain just like opens up and something dislodges and it's like, boom, perfect, here we go. Here's my idea, and then you keep a notepad next to you. I tend to have a notepad, a voice recorder, the recorder on my cell phone, my video camera, right? I don't wanna let that information go. I don't wanna let that video go. I don't wanna let that thought go. So, you know, for you, take something apart, figure out how you're gonna put it back together again, and that is another way for you to be creative. It could be your sales process. Put it on three by five index cards, right? And take each step and write each step down and just like jumble them around and figure out, okay, if I put this process here, what are the questions that's gonna be asked or what are the story that I'm gonna to have to tell to make it work or what am I gonna to have to do? And sometimes that's just like, boom, I, you know what? I just got the perfect idea of how to explain this. Or, you know, go watch somebody else's process and deconstruct their process, even if they're not in your industry. And you can be like, oh, you know what? That works for their process. That should work for mine. And borrow some information, right? In the copywriting world, a lot of copywriters that are top copywriters, what they do is they, they take a look at somebody else's copy and they don't copy it word for word. They're like, oh, I like the way that he wrote that. That's a good angle. And so they copy the angle, not word for word. They copy the angle, right? So they deconstruct somebody else's process and that helps too. So there you go. There's another way to be creative. Now, if you could do me a favor in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic to the right or to the left. There is a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sylvan Bell. We'll see you soon, thanks for watching, aloha.